Yo, what's up? It's your boy Young Greatness, and you're now watching Disney50.com. You hear me? Yo, what's good? It's DJ Thorough, aka Thorough on the bridge to the streets. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the streets right here on Disney50.com. I got a special guest in the building, Mr. AKA Moolah. Introduce yourself. What's up with it, man? It's your boy Young Greatness. Yes, sir. NO in the building. Let's just get right into it. The, the Moolah song. Right. That's one of, the, one of the hottest records in the street, one of the hottest records in the club, one of the hottest records in the strip club, et cetera, et cetera. How did that record come about? I'm just in Atlanta working, man. Jazzy Feet pulled up on me with some beats, you know what I'm saying? And that record was the the, the first record, one of the first beats that he played in. And he tried to play me like a lot of, a uh, couple other beats, but I was just sold on that one. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And I told him, go back to Moolah. When he went back to it, I jumped in a boot and I did out in 10 minutes. So how did you come up with that that, that melody or just even that, uh, like, like that's, it just came to you? Like, what's your process of writing, basically, is what I'm asking. I don't really have a process. Like, I, it just comes to me and I just right. follow, you know, I just, it just came to me and I just did it. Right. So that was nothing you had in store, like, oh shit, I got something for that or I got, nah, it, just, I it just came to you. Yeah, I ain't, ain't, ain't no premeditated murder, you know, just all, <laughs> all, all headshots from the, from the dome. I like this guy. Yeah. I, 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 I like this guy. So let's talk about your, your, your recording process in, in uh, general, or, you know, a, a records that you have. Like, um, you seem to be, a, like, like for me, when I, when I listen to you, you have a lot of singles. Like, a lot of do have good music, but yeah. you have a lot of what I call, like, singles. Like, you, do, you put singles out, like, yeah. hit records out. You don't just do records. It's yeah. like you do records just to do them. You, like every record could be a single, like yeah. or whatever. Is that your recording thought when you when you're trying to record, or you just? I just think that's my percentage. I'm a high percentage when I go in the studio. When I go in the studio, right? Damn, that everything I make gonna come out is gonna be proud of a single, right? Even if it's on some street shit, it's gonna have a right. single twist to it, right? Well, Moolah is a street record. Yeah, there's nothing, it, it, it's, it's nothing radio about this yeah, shit, yeah. but it just resonated. You know, because those melodies and the way yeah. you're catching them notes, like, you know, it's, it's very catchy. So let's talk about this project you got. What's the name of the project? You I tried to tell them, too. I dropped it July 8th. It's doing real good right now. I got a whole bunch of crazy music on there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if y'all heard it or not, but me personally, I feel like it's one of the dopest mixtapes that's out right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm dropping another one next month. And right. And another one in September. Right. Well, me personally, I'm not so big on asking people who, who's featured on it, but being that we're talking about it, because... I like to deal with, deal with the artists themselves. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm into the artists. I don't, I don't feel I need you to have a song with everybody in the industry. I'm listening to you, so. Well, I don't really like with my music. I love to just take over my own songs. Right. So I don't really be like I work with other artists on their projects. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I, don't, I ain't really feature driven like that. So there's no features on this? Yeah, okay. I have um, Akon, of oh. course, because yeah, that's my manager. I want to talk to you. Yeah, I want to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And also, I have my homie from New Orleans, his name S80. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me and him kind of like the, the two front runners for our city right now. Right. So it made sense to put him on now. Right. I see you I see you on the road heavy. Like, how those shows looking? Like, you you, you booked every night? You, 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 like, every what's weekend. your demographic? Where you at? Like, who's really fucking with you, by your, by your opinion? Where you, where you find think, yourself I a think, part of the country? I think um, the, my biggest the, my biggest city so far was Washington, D.C. D.C.? D.C. love me. Okay. D.C., I, I got, like, D.C., I had the best reaction and the most fun. Right. Now, now let me ask you this, because um, I, I hear a lot of people say um, New Orleans or Louisiana or whatever. They don't really embrace and support their, their own. Is that true? Or I mean, you get a lot of love where you're from? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. They treat me like big homie. Okay. No, I'm just asking because yeah. I see, you know, a lot of people. At, like coming in, like just be like, like I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give break, break it down to you like this. Okay. What they mean by like support is we don't have this like a this is 50 to go to and sit down and talk to help create opportunities for ourselves okay so that's what we mean by support we don't have the, the so things that we need to support ourselves down there okay there is no record labels there is no blogs there you know there's nothing that we could you know there's nothing you know that we could do right. to really help break ourselves as an artist right you know what i'm saying Right. So you know d you know these kind of pipelines we really need right but they don't have them they don't have them they don't have them all right so, so let me ask you this question. Um, lyrically, do you consider yourself a songwriter, lyricist, all of the above? Like, what do you categorize? If, if I had to categorize you musically, um, what what, would you, what what kind of artist? All the above. All the above. So, um, are you into like the, the battle rap scene? You keep do you keep up with that culture at all? I used to. That's how I started. That's how you started. I started battle rap. All right. I'm I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Because I got a segment on this show, right? And it's called 
on the spot. Yeah. So it's DJ Thorough, hottest in the street. This is 50.com. You on the spot. Let me hear 16 bars. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got it locked from Louisiana to Alabama to Montana to Mississippi to North Dakota to South Dakota to Minnesota. We don't mix it with baking soda. Mm. We got that uncut cola. Hold up. You better go and call your quotas because me and my nigga spit the dopest shit in the NOLA. Yeah, I don't have to sling crack. I sling rap more than a kilo of V. But if you want a kilo for real, then get it for me. Mm. Bro, I'm kind of fresh with the flow and a seven in my blood chump I fall from a hoe. Yo, I could put a price tag on your toe, but yeah, I could beat you like Zab Judah or I could get Lee to do you something with that Ruger. Mm. Paralyze your futures, what he do you? You niggas like negligees, I see right through you. I shoot you, I do you something ridiculous. You niggas pussy, you been sweeter than licorice. Mm. A card in the A's got 18 shells and ball players could get shot up in their ACL. Ooh. Yeah, I make you wish you was dead. So if you late with my bread, meet the card in the A's. Wow, young greatness, man. This is 50.com, house in the street. I asked for a 16. I was about 46, 64, 62. You know what I'm saying? No pun intended. Yo, is there anything you want to say or any misconception about yourself or anything you want people to know about yourself? Man, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at YoungGreatness7. Download my new mixtape. I try to tell them too, man. New artists in the building. It's your boy Young Greatness. Peace. One more question, man. Young Greatness, where did that name come from? And it fits you perfectly, but where did that name come from? One of my homies in New Orleans, he gave me the name like at a younger age when I first started rapping. Right. He always told me I was going to be like one of the great ones. He always believed in me, so that name kind of stuck with me since then. Is that guy still around you? Cause you no, he need passed away oh, he two, passed two years away, God bless. Two yeah, years okay. ago. Well, you need to keep that in memory, yo. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wish you much success, man. Thanks for it's coming by, man. Hottest in the street, DJ Thorough. This is 50.com. Check this out. When you see us, one knee us. That means pay your respects. We out.